Hi, Rich Leiter here. Welcome to my channel, Thoughts on Writing. I just thought I'd do a quick video showing you the latest painting that I completed. Um, and uh, I had a thought about um, painting and writing, art, creating art in general. And it's, it's this. Um, you know, we're used to thinking that uh, in math and in math mathematics and in statistics that 1% or a half a percent or a quarter of 1% is not really, really very important. It's not very statistically important. Um, however, when it comes to art, it's, it's completely different. When you put um, that extra quarter of a percent, that extra fraction of effort, you take the pains to go just that one step further, uh, refining something, um, sharpening uh, the edges of something, uh, giving it a little bit more uh, color or value uh, than you had before. Sometimes, I'm not quite sure why, but sometimes that very, very slight extra effort is enough to push um, a good painting into a very good painting or a mediocre painting into an excellent painting. You know, it um, it's kind of like, um, you know, the Rube Goldbarb, uh, you know, um, mechanisms that, that, that we've all seen. You know, you, you give uh, one lever just enough weight and it sets into motion a whole set of other events, um, uh, like a chain reaction occurs. Well, sometimes in order to make that lever go down and uh, which will release a, a ball bearing, which will then, um, um, you know, uh, hit another ball bearing and make another lever go down and make the whole mach machine operate. Sometimes all you need is that very, very slight um, uh, amount of weight. You know, it could be a tenth of a gram. If that tenth of a gram is enough to tip the scales, then that's a very, very important tenth of a gram. Um, and I think this is overlooked. I think a lot of a lot of artists um, stop when they get good results, and they don't give it that that extra something that will tip the scales and make it something really special. Um, that was my thought. Now let me just show you more of a close up of the painting. Let's get her face in here a bit. And this is one of the few paintings also that I've done. Um, let me just get that shadow away from reflection. Yeah. Um, this is one of the few paintings I've done where I've used um, a lot of uh, um, naphthol crimson light, which is kind of like analogous to cadmium red light. Um, I usually don't use that when I'm using red. I like to use uh, pyrrole red, which is a, a more intense red. But I mean, you know, every painting is different. Sometimes the painting calls for, uh, you know, Academy in red light and, and not for something more intense. It, it all depends, I guess. Um, gee, I wish I could do another painting like this. I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. Thanks a lot.